Have you ever found yourself doing all of the things except for the thing that you know you need to do? Right? You put in a load of laundry, you wipe the counter, do all the dishes, call your sister, finally start that Netflix show that everyone has been talking about, right? You do all these things except for going to the grocery store except for stocking your fridge with fruits and vegetables and things that you know will make you feel great. I mean, what the heck? You want so badly just to feel better in your body, to feel better in your life. You know the steps, but you just keep procrastinating them. You keep putting it off and putting it off until eventually you say, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Or there's always next week, you have coaches, myself included in the past, right? That might just tell you to do the thing. Just do it. Stop thinking, right? Well, easier said than done. There's something that's stopping you. There's something that's getting in the way of you doing the thing, of you taking care of yourself. You taking that next step forward in your journey to feel great. But you just can't describe it. Why? Why would you be doing this to yourself? Right? We might call it self-sabotage. We might decide that maybe we're just not ready. No, that's not it at all. And I know exactly what you're thinking. If I just had more self-discipline, I could do it. I just need someone to hold me accountable. Girl, it is deeper than that. It is deeper. And I get it. Because there is a level of discomfort in the new, in change. And if we can just blame somebody else, give that responsibility to somebody else instead of ourselves, that feels easier. But you see, your brain and your ego, they're screaming at you. They're giving you every excuse not to change. They get you to question, how do I even know if this will work? Right? They remind you that if it doesn't work, what's that really saying about me? Am I not good enough? This is all so normal. As humans, we love predictability. And is there anything less predictable than changing your habits? Is there anything less predictable than trying and striving for something new and bigger and better? Right? Even if on the surface level, you've decided to improve the way you look and feel in your body, right? You're, you feel so ready, then bang. You know what you need to do, but you just don't do it. Right? That voice creeps up. Something back there in your head is telling you not to do it. You know you need to go to the grocery store to get food for the week. Or else you're just going to end up getting takeout again. Right? You know that if you go for a walk in the evening, it's going to feel so good. The fresh air, the warm breeze, maybe the company of your spouse. It will just make your life better but something is stopping you. So what I wanna offer you is this little shift, right? Something to help overcome this. What if you knew the things you needed to do and instead of expecting them to go perfectly and expecting you to just willingly do them, you instead expected resistance? What if it wasn't a surprise that you wanted to procrastinate? What if you expected yourself to make excuses? What if you were able to welcome that resistance because it was predictable? I shared with you earlier that our brains love predictability. And if we know that it's coming, we can so much easier deal with it. We can fact check it, right? When we have that excuse, oh, but it's gonna take so long, it's so hard to do this. No, 
Grocery shopping is not any harder this week just because you're gonna buy more vegetables, right? No, going for a 30 minute walk isn't going to stop you from being able to spend time with your friends or your family or your kids. It's not even gonna stop you from watching the first episode of that new show. It's just gonna make you feel better when you do it. If we know that that resistance is coming, we can counter it. We can overcome it so much more freely. So listen, if you find yourself in this pattern, right? You know in the back of your mind, or you have a plan written out for you, and you know what you need to do, but you just don't. Then I know that this shift is going to make a difference in your life. I know this to be true because this is the perspective that I need to take. So often my brain tries to tell me not to do these things. It would be so much easier just to wait till tomorrow, right? I myself find I get in this pattern too. And I use this for my clients. And it's amazing what happens when we aren't surprised by ourselves, right? When we aren't surprised by the fact that we're trying to self-sabotage, we can then overcome it. And we can then say, hey, I knew this was coming. I knew this was going to happen. And so now I can step past it. It's not confusing that you don't want to do the things because change is hard. And it's going to be a, a difficult journey, right? But expect that resistance. Expect yourself to not want to do the things and you'll be so much more able to put that action into place. If this resonates with you, if you have found yourself in this pattern of knowing what to do and then doing absolutely everything else, give this a go and then let me know in the comments if it works for you.